uh, robotic is you all know it is a, a, a new tool for surgical device but it is quietly well accepted in western country and in india now it started being acceptance is being started very widely so now there is a myth for robotic surgery that uh, uh, surgery is being performed by robot but it is not like that it is a uh, surgery is being performed by surgeon through the robot in greek word robot is means slave so robot is your slave you pass the command and they will do the surgery so this is a small uh, video animated video how robot function so this is the da, uh, da, uh, this is the only company available in the market is da vinci surgical system right now and uh, uh, this is a surgical console there is a three part surgical console patient console and the brain of the robot processor unit so this is the surgical console this is the patient console and this is the brain of the robot we'll pass the command from there to here and here to the uh, patient's console so this is a beautiful 3d vision we will get you will see inside and uh, uh, while, while watching in the this the console uh, you can do a certain movement of the master control and the mas uh, these are the master control and you do just finger movement interpharyngeal movement and from this the the uh, command will pass this is the uh, patient's console and these are the robotic surgical and this is the uh, beauty of the robot they they move like a human finger so there is a 270 degree movement of the robotic instruments and uh, this is sometimes very very useful in certain conditions definitely and uh, this is how uh, it will work you pass the command you just move this and then here the instrument will move so and this is the there is certain lights that there are certain indications and there is very complex system that you have to get used to it will take time and then uh, certain lights blue light green light the robotic function is well or not so everything is uh, so this is the a small video how you how we will do a robotic bariatric surgery uh, we will enter like laparoscopic surgery we have to enter the trochas like uh, uh, lap surgeries routine lap surgeries this is the visi port and then we introduce the uh, four trochar and this is the diving of the robot the assistant will drive the robot up to the head of the patients and uh, then we dock the patients on this uh, trochars so docking is very very important and i think docking should be completed by 3 minutes 3 to 3.5 minutes is the international criteria but initially for 3 to 4 months we took around 10 minutes 15 minutes 25 minutes because sometimes you have to get used to certain maneuver to dock the robot on the trochars so this is the docking docking is very important because Uh, there is certain distance between the robotic arm there should be not clash is clashing clash of the robotic arm which suggest the the docking is not proper or the placement of trocar is not proper so this is the how uh, we will do uh, seat on the surgical console this is nicely paid arm we rest our arm and we pass our movement there is a blue code is visible this blue code will go to the uh, brain of the robot and from that uh, this is the robot and it will move uh, by our commands there are uh, there is two surgeon team one surgeon will stand near by the doctor specially for the bariatric surgery because there is no robotic staplers are available right now in the market so assistant surgeon will fire the stapler for robotic uh, bariatric surgery and these are the instruments and this is the movement like look externally when we when we move the master controls by sitting on the surgical console uh, this is the movement of the robot is visible outside so this is a, a small clip of the uh, robotic gastric bypass ruven by gastric bypass is a gold standard procedure for bariatric surgery and uh, now you will see a small small movement that uh, those who are doing we, we started our surgery by doing open surgery and open surgery we used to uh, use our finger and wrist beautifully we can dissect so many things by uh, finger movement and wrist movement but now come with the uh, lap surgery the instruments are straight so sometimes very difficult to do the maneuvers but with the um, uh, robotic uh, instrument now you can see the robot um, instruments move like a human finger at 270 degree so you can make the space very easily uh, especially in huge uh, patients when when we go for the uh, bariatric surgery so this point is very difficult Uh, this is a g junction and the obese patient is always lots of fat and when you mock uh, you when you uh, make the window robot is quite quite helpful in such conditions this is again a steps in robotic bariatric we have to just lift the huge amount of the obese patients in laparoscopic uh, uh, laparoscopically sometimes very very difficult to lift this huge amount so by the by the help of the uh, two robotic arm you can do it very nicely 
this is the measurement of the measurement also is quite helpful you see the wrist like movement of the instrument and then this is the uh, formation of jj uh, and joints uh, and this is also harmonics available in the robot we will make a uh, two hole and then we do the stapler joints between the jejunum and the stomach tube this is stomach tube we prepared earlier now after the stapler firing we do the suturing and suturing is is really a a joyful moment with the robot because we, we, those who are doing a left suturing is not difficult but you you can get the master but after coming the robotic surgery now uh, i felt a, a bit uh, <laughs> cumbersome doing the laparoscopic suturing because the movement of the wrist is you can see just movement is just beautiful and uh, the precision of the want you pass the sutures it's like also excellent with the robotic arms so all this small movement you, you just uh, you, you this is the uh, special thread this is a wheel lock and uh, it's called barb switcher also so, so many gynec people are using barb switchers and uh, this is very good and i think with robotic surgery i am quite helpful to use barb switchers in the uh, gi suturing gi uh, anastomosis so this is the closure of the gj stoma and then we will do a uh, 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 enterotrick uh, joints anastomosis and this is third arm all three arm is under surgeon's control telescope and all three arm so now you have lost the chance to sh shout on your assistant but you are the only responsible if something went wrong because now otherwise we used to lepro surgery when something went wrong we tried the sarki the pakadne so kar this is the frustration now there is no one only robot and you and you are responsible for everything wrong movement right movement everything is done by you only robot by robot by robot and there is a there is a, a six uh, tro uh, there is a six buttons in the surgical console and you have to you can you can do a rotation you can do a fine tuning wide and tail everything you can do by, 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 uh, so you have to use your two legs and two arms and they are eight control so it's like video game and uh, you can do a different different thing with two arm and two leg this is again uh, entro entro joints anastomosis and this is the final step of the uh, gastric bypass and the last stitch uh, i was just i want to emphasize this is a peterson defect i think those who are doing uh, gi surgery or uh, bariatric surgery the peterson defect is a defect is uh, responsible for the post op complications for the peterson hernia and uh, to close the peterson hernia in really super obese patients uh, you may take bmi was 60 uh, 70 80 bmi and this this robot is really bone this is a peterson defect and this is a uh, uh, bowel suturing and uh, this is the ring we usually put in 80% of the patient to prevent the regain of the weight and then the uh, peterson defect this is a peterson defect this is a defect uh, laterally by the mesocolon and right side by the small bowel mesentery and this uh, window sometimes may prove uh, bowel may fix inside and uh, patient come with the emergency uh, bowel obstruction and uh, i have lost one patient operated by others and because of the problem obstruction patient developed gangrene and then we would, we tried to correct it but patient could not survive so this is such a uh, uh, deadly if you leave the peterson defect as such so this is the closure of the peterson defect and now this is the uh, advantage over the laparoscopic surgery uh, we also stable and untiring there is no tremors because uh, you are not doing surgery robot is doing theory you are passing the message so if you are tired suppose you you do the surgery 3 4 5 in a day and uh, second third surgery you may become tired there is a fine tremor in laparoscopy there is a 10 times higher figure so your hand lo looks like that but with the robot i think uh, robot arms are very stable so there is no tiring there is no tremor uh, good geometric accuracy improved dexterity beautiful 3d vision just like you enter the abdomen of the patient uh, higher precision uh, Uh, just we discussed at 270 degree of, of the uh, arm rotation no counter movement this is very important but those who are doing left surgery suppose you want to tissue above you have to do uh, your arm down uh, outside with robot there is it is not like that so it is it's quite because initial 6 month one year those who are learning your assistant or those who are doctors is quite difficult to do counter movement so this is quite easy by the then easy by the robot and telescope is under surgeon control they would discuss so this advantage there is no tactile sensation you have to uh, pull the tissue only on your visual perception because you cannot feel the tissue what tissue you are holding it is hard or soft you never know come to know um, strength and stretch required to handling the is pure also perception vis visual perception 
no trying also be a pure visual perception because when you are tying the dot there is no tactile sensation you have to just see the tissue uh, fluid displacement and what is now you 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 can get used to so there is something between two year can get used to that what is the amount of tissue displacement required and then not is tied properly not too too tight not too uh, lo too loose and uh, you can't change the position of the ones robot is docked patient is fixed if you try to do the change if you try to change the position after docking of the robot sometimes whole abdominal muscle is being teared because robot arms are very robust and they can tear the uh, parietal wall so uh, advantages especially bariatric surgery what we have discussed while uh, showing the video there is no pressure over the surgical hand because when you are doing a huge patient i i, op I operated one patient 82 bmi and abdominal wall is uh, 1.5 feet 1.6 uh, our longest tocar is barely minimal visible uh, laparoscopically inside the abdomen. And if you move this abdomen and if you do suturing, is I think almost uh, in, impossible, inhuman task. But with the robot, this human, inhuman task become human possibly by the help of robot. You can do suturing very nicely, very precisely. And this is uh, handling of the thicker momentum that we have discussed and the closure of the patient defect is also very, very important, those who are doing the bariatric surgery. So, Open surgery is discomfort for surgeon and patient both. Surgeon is standing for a long time, having back pain, having cervical pain, and patient having a long, thick scar, long scar, painful scar. Laparoscopy is comfort for the patient, but it is a discomfort for the surgeons because they have got cervical problem, uh, uh, shoulder problem, a leg problem, varicose vein problem, everything is problem with the laparoscopy. But with robot, both are comfortable. But one person is un uncomfortable about the head, anesthesiologist, because they have to do maneuver so many things by doing robotic bariatric surgery. So I think uh, a robot is real. Even I just want to show a small video why why they are uncomfortable. Because we we do the bariatric surgery by the help of uh, sorry by the help of uh, uh, gastric tube. Gastric tube is being uh, uh, introduced by the uh, these people. Anesthesia people, and you will look. You can look. Otherwise, they are sitting very nicely, playing angry, ang angry bird, and there is over parameters coming on the parameters, and they are they are enjoying, and we are struggling. Now with the robot, we are doing much, uh, very nice surgery, and they are struggling, and you can see the struggle of the anesthesiologist while putting gastric tube. Yeah, <laughs> anesthetic is going better. So. Sir, everyone see <laughs> no, but gastric tube, <laughs> but gastric tube, by, by doing, uh, gastric bypass, you have to force the tube. <laughs> so, so uh, robot is really born and for bariatric surgery, for uh, uh, pelvic sur surgery, thoracic, I think robot is really born for the medical societies. Thanks. How do you uh, defog? Basically, uh, two things. In robot, uh, surprisingly, there is not, uh, not much of fogging and there is an air seal instrument. Those prosthetic surgeons are sitting here, they are using air seal instrument. So air seal will, there, there will be no, absolutely, they will suck the air and there will be no uh, fogging of the instrument. This is, this is SI. So SI co cost including AMC and instrument is around 13.14 uh, CR. And XI is around 21 CR. Uh, within six months, one year, there is a, there is a scope because yeah. few companies are coming with the robot, uh, uh, specific organ, um, uh, robots, robots, organ specific robots. Is there only, only one company? This is only because he, he, uh, the company is coming with patent, new patent every year. Yeah. So they are extending their patent. But I think within one year, two years, few companies are in the market. Yeah. They are coming with the uh, organ specific robot. Thank you, Burubai. Thank you.